you're watching the thrift switch flip natalie from sparks and joy and i switched stuff from our stash to see what we could do with them make sure you check out her channel linked below to see what i sent her and what creative ideas she had for her projects okay so i picked this thing out of the box it looks like just a, a tea light holder that maybe had a uh, uh, shade over the top of it and uh it's just this piece that came all by itself so i am going to take this and use this in a project and i think it's going to come out primitive that's what i'm thinking i'm going to do is a primitive but it may be more rustic it's hard to say maybe a rustic primitive hey let's mix them together so we're going to start with that I picked up this bag at the free area at my dump. It's full of popsicle sticks and tongue depressors. So I've got the little skinny popsicle stick and there's my tongue depressors. And I grabbed them because you never know. They're good for lots of different things. So I thought I would grab them. And what I'm gonna do is I took the tongue depressors and I grabbed a bunch of them and I cut them down on my bandsaw so the rounded edges were gone and it was about that long can you tell the difference so and you'll see why in just a second but that's all i did was just cut a bunch of those down real quick took just a second to do that and here are all of them i hope i have enough i didn't it's hard to tell i think i do i should um some waverly antique wax you out a little bit and a wood round from 24 hour crafts and i'm gonna take the backing off it's not sticky or anything it just keeps it uh from getting the burn the burn marks i believe that's what that's for not really sure but you just take it right off and all i'm gonna do is stain all of these light colored pieces i don't know if they're going to stay this color but my other piece that i'm going to attach these two are is a dark color so i want to make sure that they are all the same color when i put them together and i want to make sure my edges are good the bottoms don't need to be done but i definitely want my edges to be good the sides i guess and then i'm going to do all these the same way so i'm just going to put the antique wax on and then wipe it off i'm going to use it as a stain now i didn't water this down but you could water it down it makes it a little bit lighter it spreads a little easier this antique wax has got a little bit of a gel consistency kind it's a little bit thicker so they're kind of i guess it's like a paint it's thick it's not real watery so you can water them down so i'm going to do those and i'm going to do both sides of this this bowl it's a wooden bowl i think it's one of those ones where you put the walnuts in the middle and then you well it doesn't have the holes for the little nutcrackers so i don't really know it may just be a uh, candle holder bowl I mean I don't know but I probably picked this up at Goodwill who knows where I got it it's been in my stash for a while but it's made of walnut this is real walnut here on the sticker so I know for sure it's definitely an old sticker so it's been around for a little bit and I saw this in my stash and I went you know I really should use this it looks like it's warped a little bit but anyway um so I said I wonder if this will fit down in here and it does you have to force it just a little bit let's see just like that and it fits in there like so and it fits pretty good i am going to glue i am going to glue it down so that it will stay in there really good so i've i heated up my glue gun and I'm just gonna go around the inside you're not going to be able to see this inside part at all 
Okay, I'm gonna give you a different angle here so you can see what I'm doing, but I think what I'm gonna do is take some of this jute rope and go around the bottom inside lip. On, it's just gonna be on the very top, but that'll give this something to glue to because there's really nothing there. And I don't want the glue to be on the outside because you will be able to see it with these if you don't do it correctly. take these and glue them to the top and the bottom. Try to get it straight-ish. Straight-ish. And we're going to go all the way around, putting them as close together as we can. Of course, it's rounded, and these aren't rounded, so it's going to be, there's probably going to be a little bit of see-through through there, but it should be okay. All right, and then I'm gonna glue my circle on to the top. Make sure that the glue gets on the, the rope too, because that will help stick it down really well. And now I have my Fusion hemp oil. And I'm gonna put a little bit either on a rag or just dump it right in the bowl. And I'm gonna just freshen up this wood. I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I think it looks okay the way it is and this walnut color is really pretty but I want to just kind of freshen it up it looks dingy I mean I do like it to look old and weathered that's just kind of my thing but this will this will sink in and it's just giving this wood a drink basically and this is food safe so if somebody got this and they wanted to put chips in the bowl you put chips down here and put a little bowl of dip on the top and veggies a little veggie dip so there that just kind of gives that wood a little bit of a drink and just kind of freshens it up a little bit and this i'm not really sure exactly what i'm going to do but this was two dollars at goodwill it's just a big let me zoom out. There we go. It's just a big um, piece of willow. I've got some broken pieces on there that I'll have to break off. Come on. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I'm going to put it in that bowl. And it'll make a great centerpiece. You can put a candle on top. Let me find a candle. Okay, so I have one of my, my grubby candles that I do with the flickering, kind of the little flickering movement. So, got that. And then this in there. So it make a great centerpiece. Or I have something else.
Okay, here is a, ooh, I don't know, goose, duck, goose. I don't know what it is. But this is the next project that I'm gonna do. And he only has one eye. So I think I'm gonna pop this one off if I can. Make him a little more, there we go. Took his little eyeball off, sorry little guy. We'll give you some eyeballs. But anyway, that was the little eye. And I think um, this would make a great little candle holder. You could probably put soap in this. Um, I don't know, you could do all kinds of different things with this. But these colors are just so dated. This is nothing that I would put in my house. It's the colors are just all wrong. The two tone is wrong for me anyway. And we're gonna give this guy a primitive look because that's just what I do. And I do that by painting. So I'm going to take my Folk Art One decor paint and I am going to paint this guy or gal all black. sandpaper and distress this a little bit so that it comes back through it just looks a little more distressed I'm not a huge fan of just the plain black but again if you wanted to do it that way you can you can just leave it if you want to try something like this I like the worn look Okay, he's all sanded, so now I've got to take my antique wax and I'm just going to give him a coat of wax all over. I'm going to cover up all those spots that I just sanded. And hopefully the spots that aren't very dark, it will darken them up a little bit so they all kind of match. Just gonna wipe it back. This is a little clamshell jewelry box. It's metal with a faux leather covering on the top and the bottom. It's got a nice like piano type hinge here. And I really like this box, it's very cool. I got the glue out the best that I could. There's still a little bit in there. It's when you heat it up, it melts really quickly and it just spreads and it's really thick and it's hard to get out but i got it so it's flat-ish at least it's not a big bump there and i got most of it off i wiped it down first thing i want to do is take this scrap piece i just ripped a piece off that was just a strip it's not anywhere near straight but there is one edge that is straight so we're going to go with that and what I want to do is go around the edges with this and then get it to fold down so it covers up most of that brown inside. What I'm going to do is glue here along the edge. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my hinges. Make it so they don't work. 
and then I'm gonna put this down all the way across. It's kind of like what I do with my baskets on the insides. Looks like this, glued in all the way around, standing up. And I think, as long as that glue is dry, then what I'm gonna do is just pop this down, like so. So it makes kind of a lining around the outside. Just like that. Now I'm not worried about the inside being even because I'm gonna take my paper. So I'm just gonna round my corners a little bit. I'm gonna trim this piece just a smidge. Just a little bit too long. Round my corners. So that gives it a nice edge around the outside and then it gives this here uh, a nice look. So I'm gonna do the same to this top part here. I'm gonna put the material around the outside and then the paper there and then we can do the rub on transfer. This is a uh, trans transfer from Family Dollar. It's Family Affirmations. And I just thought it was really cool. I like the writing on it, the script on it. So I thought this would look really good in here. And we'll put part of it on the top part of my little jewelry box and then the other half, like down on the bottom. So I just need to figure out where the best place is to cut it while this works. So we're just gonna start rubbing. Put it down. Sometimes these can be a pain, but once they're down, they look really cool. And they have to rub hard. And it's on like a tissue paper, so you have to be kind of careful too. All right, let's see how it came out because I moved a lot. So it's very hard because it's slippery. Yeah. Well, I guess it's all right. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. And I didn't do these little side things because they don't quite fit. So I have to do them separately. But I think I'll still do them. That one there. It's just such slippery paper. Oh yeah, that looks better. That works out better anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up these. I'm gonna do this side and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I put them in. So I thought the camera was rolling, but it wasn't. So I just, all I did was hot glue, just hot glued it around the edges and stuck it in. I think that looks pretty cool. It looks a lot better than what it looked like inside before. Now we're gonna work on the outside. We're gonna take some of this green paint and give it at least two coats. I don't know what's gonna to take to cover it, but give it two coats of paint uh, all the way around on the outside.
So as you saw, I used Dainty Blooms by Redesigned with Prima. Beautiful gold accent flowers, and I thought this would look great on top of my green paint. I then burnished it on once I was done, and then sanded down a bunch of the sides where the gold was, and accent more of that color in the jewelry box. The next thing I did was add clear wax to the box and then wipe that back and then added some black wax on top of that to give it a little bit more of a vintage look. I then added a black and tan piece of ribbon on the hinge side so that it could be stood up like a book and put in the bookcase to hide your jewelry. Next up is a super cute little salt or pepper shaker. I really love this cute little thing. It's adorable. I'm going to take a mold and of my chickens and roosters, and I'm going to add my air dry clay to it and make a cute little shelf sitter with this. So I'm just going to go around and see which one will fit on there. And then I'm going to add my my cornstarch to my mold so that my clay will release. I like using this farmhouse mold on a lot of my projects. I think I found this on Amazon and I will link it down below if I can find it. I wanted to get this stuck down while it was still wet and pliable and that would mold to the little salt shaker. So I added some wood glue to the back of my little clay piece and made sure that it was adhered well. I let this dry overnight so now it's all the glue is dry, the clay is dry. I sprayed it with matte clear sealer because it was very shiny and I wanted to cut that shininess down so the paint would stick. So you can tell it's a little more matte now. It's still drying just a little bit. It's still a little wet, some spots. But for the most part, it is good. And I am going to take my folk art paint and sealer in one, and I'm just gonna start Painting this guy all black. This whole thing's going to be all black to start with. Okay, so that's all covered. And now I'm going to take my gold rub and buff. Well, this is antique gold. And I'm going to use a little bit. Whoa, that was a lot. A little bit. Put it on my little rooster. how cute that looks. This is a uh, faux distressing with the, the uh, ooh, got a lot on that one, the rub and buff. It's just a faux distress. Just put it where you feel like it would look good.
just where it was needed. This is the next project that I was sent. I think this is like a corn on the cob, like a dip your butter in there, you put your corn in, and uh, you know, this tells you, like this. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, I have this cutting board that's not super straight. It's got a curve, a bow to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut this right down the middle, right in half. And I'm gonna cut these two ends off so that it just fits. One half of this will just fit to here, to here I'm gonna cut. And it will fit at the bottom. And it'll be like a little, uh, like a little shelf. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this with black on the spots that's gonna show. I actually just probably should do the whole Thing, and that way if any of it shows I'm, I'm covered so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna paint the whole thing black just one coat will be plenty because I'm gonna distress back where I can I'm gonna take a piece of music paper that fits my printer and I'm gonna run it through my printer and put an image on it just off the internet. It's actually from Jamie Marie Vintage for being in her group, in their members group. And they put out a couple images every, I think it's every month. Uh, and I love this image. So I'm gonna put it on here and I'm just gonna run it through my printer and have it print on this paper. This is the image Barn with Sunflowers that they sent uh, or that you can get if you're a, a member of their YouTube channel. And um, I just, instead of printing it on regular paper or rice paper or whatever, I just ripped out a piece of music note paper. And uh, the reason why I cut, I mean, I pa painted that whole thing black is because I think I'm going to just um, use my water pen. There's just water in here so that I can wet the paper and give it a, I just want to get rid of some of this extra around the edges. I don't want the white. So I'm just gonna go like this. Now, if you use this method, just know that it this is printed just printer ink and printer and printer paper. So it's going to discolor. You're gonna get discoloration if you put water to the paper. So just know that that's gonna do that. Can you see the difference when it does that? I mean, I don't mind because I'm going to distress it anyway, but you can seal it. Um, oh, Sandy from Sandy's uh, Country Crafts seals it with hairspray. I think she seals her paper with hairspray if she prints anything so that it doesn't run or discolor. So now I'm just going to use a little Mod Podge and Mod Podge it down. Okay, so it's it's pretty much dry for the most part, but I want to get to distressing. Got some pieces hanging over the edge. So I want to distress those right off. Distress the edges. 
give it an even more organic old look. There, look at that, yeah. Here is my little shelf that I cut out. I did one coat, that's all it really needed. Because again, I'm just stressing back. I'm gonna attach my shelf on here. I think I'm gonna use hot glue and, or do I have nails? I may have nails I can put through. This probably, this cutting board is probably really hard, but I think I can put some nails through the other side. That'll hold it a little bit better. Not that anything really heavy is gonna be in, in this, but you never know. So I'm gonna try to put some nails through. I'm gonna do a little antique wax. I'm gonna do it just around the edges for starters and see what that looks like. I'm gonna do anywhere there's a little black. Because I like the color, you know, the black, the antique wax on the black. And then also where I distressed back on down to the cutting board, I want that to be a nice dark color as well. So I'll go down in there too. See what that looks like. Just giving it a little aged aged look yeah see so that darkened up the the cutting board a little bit it just looks so it just gives it a rich look thank Natalie from Sparks of Joy for sending me these great projects and giving me some really cool ideas to work on. Let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite and which one it was. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.